This is the Tandy Model 200 portable computer. This particular unit was uh, manufactured in 1985. It's a good computer. It's uh, it feels cheap, but it's well made. If that makes any sense, it's uh, it's durable, uh, and it's got a lot of good features on it. It's uh, it's got a lot of uh, uh, ports. It's got an RS-232 port, printer port, uh, an expansion bus port. A uh, it's got a, a cassette port, a modem port. It's got a lot of ports on it. It's uh, it's really quite a good machine, actually. One of the best features about this computer that I like is the basic. I think this is. The last basic that was written by Bill Gates himself. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's supposedly it's true. But it's it's a really good basic, and it's got a lot of commands and functions that are that that are tailored to this portable computer. And this is just an example of the audio capabilities of the computer. Really, the only problem I have with this computer is the screen. Um, it's a nice, large LCD screen, but the problem is it's not backlit. But I'm hoping to change that in this video. Now, I'm filming this with uh, holding a camera in one hand, so it's going to be kind of tough to show you this, but the first thing to do to get access to the screen the LCD display internally is we've got to take this cover off so you've got to push in on this side and this side while placing your thumbs right here in the middle and pushing down in the middle and pull down and out and that will remove that front cover which will allow us to take out the LCD display from the main computer unit here. We have to detach this card, this flexible connector here from the computer. And you simply just pull this connector out. I disconnected it previously because like I said, I'm, I'm working with only one hand because my other, I'm holding the camera with the other hand. So just pulls directly down and then it's the display is disconnected next is just to remove all the screws there's four of them the screws on the outer perimeter here are longer than the ones in the middle so take note of that and then just simply lift up well it's hard to do with one hand hang on And just lift up like that. It comes right off. You get access to the LCD panel in there. Just pull this out. again use one hand hang on all right now we just need to remove the bezel so just simply the the top part or the bottom part of the of the screen just pull it back slide it back like that you see there's a gap there where it opened up so basically just get a, a finger hold in there and it'll lift right up out now we're looking at the back of the LCD screen display the main circuit board need to remove these screws to get 
access to the screen. After taking the screws out, just, just straight up. Want to do is separate this metal part here from the LCD screen, and to do that, gently down back there, I'm going to need to turn these metal tabs, which there's quite a few of them. I just want to take that metal part off the screen. I do not want to take the LCD screen off the board uh, because that will separate it from all the connections and I do not want to do that. That would not be a good thing. Uh, I think it would be very difficult to uh, to put it back correctly. Even though it's possible, it, it would be very difficult. So my plan is to take the metal part off and and as a test to see what it would look like I'm going to insert this LED light strip. I'm going to try to insert it underneath the LCD screen and light it up and see what it does and see if it actually lights up the screen or if the screen's just dark. If it's just dark, then I'm going to have to think of another method. So, I'm going to start. Excuse me. I'm going to start taking these tabs off. Or not off, but twist them to where I can take the middle part off of it. Almost there. Just got a few more to go. I'm going to be really careful. Well, I didn't want that to happen, but the, uh, the LCD screen came right off within inside the metal bezel off the main circuit board. That was not my intention, but that's uh, that may be how it's designed to do. So I'm now going to check and see if I can lock that up. All right. So as a test, I've got. Just the LCD screen without the circuit board taped to the front of the computer. Let's see if it lights up. There it goes. Well, that's not the effect I was going for. It needs a diffuser, diffuser panel. So using these light strips did not work, as I showed earlier. You know, they just create like little spotlights behind the screen. But the screen is seat is kind of semi-transparent, so that's that's was the main goal was to test that. So, after that, I took my heavily packed Acer Aspire netbook, which I've been using as a, uh, a Linux box. I took it apart and put some fans in it to, to help cool it down. But I had not been using the LCD screen. I've just been using an external monitor because for me, the, the screen was too small, okay? Kind of old, hard for me to, to see things now, so I didn't use it. I was just using it like a stand, you know? Some of my videos, you can see it's, you know, sitting back there like that. 
So I thought, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll check the screen out, you know, with this and see how I can use it with, with uh, the Tandy Model 200 backlit project that I'm working on. And it was almost a perfect fit. And here's the light bar that, that backlit the Acer Aspire screen. But when I took it out, as you can see, I broke it up there and up there. But that's a perfect fit. Basically. Okay. So that'd been perfect. Uh, but there's a couple problems in that the connector, it, it's kind of hard to wire up because it's, a, it's so small. And uh, that, that was really the biggest problem. And besides it breaking, of course. So, but the prize, okay, out of there was uh was this because this is the most important thing this is what disperses the light and uh and this is basically a perfect fit i'll have to trim a little bit off of it but it's basically a perfect fit okay and this is the prize because I'm pretty sure that I hope that I can outsource a little LED strip. I can't use these because they're way too big. You know, these are you know produced for a laptop. So I'm hoping I can I can order this little light strip and use it with this dispersion screen, and that will light up the entire display hopefully so this was a, a, a learning experience you know find out what would work what wouldn't work what ultimately i would need and uh so i'm i'm gonna need a, a little led light bar you know uh hopefully i can get it in that size and you know, hopefully with just two wires, you know, positive and negative, light it up. This this has like 10 little bitty flex uh, connectors on it. And it's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty tough to, to get it wired up. You know, so, but this is the prize. Uh, because with this, it, it makes lighting the entire screen possible. And. And uh, where it's consistent throughout the entire display without having blotches of light, pinpoints of light in there. So stay tuned for part two of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope when I put this back together, it works. <laughs> so find out in part two.